seeing Fanuc all over the place, not just at your booth. Yeah. We've we've been going from booth to booth, and I'm seeing machines. I mean, you guys you guys have a, a large presence in this industry. About sixty percent of the machine tools on this floor have got our product installed on. Them. So wow. yeah, we've got a fairly large presence here. You can say that. How many machines do you think you guys are in in this uh, in this show? Just just in, in this, this show, show, about five hundred to six hundred of these machines that are here at the show have Fanuc wow. controls or something Fanuc involved. That's not including the robots. That's just the machine tool controls. Okay. So looking at the car up here, automotive is a big area for you guys? Automotive is huge. Automotive is huge and anybody that's in this industry, probably better than 50 to 60% of all the machine tools sold in this industry are sold into automotive applications. So uh, you, the whole process of building a car, you know, I, I'm used to seeing sort of that old, in my mind, you know, the, the factory, we're seeing people, you know, pounding on things and assembling things. Things have changed a lot. Significantly changed. More and more factories are going to more and more lights out manufacturing. Fanuc is a leader in lights out manufacturing. In fact, if you go to into our factories, you will find a number of the factories that have absolutely no one on the floor. It's completely robotized. Wow. The entire system is done automatically. This booth is extremely impressive. I mean, I walk in and I'm, I'm seeing Fanuc, but I sort of feel like it should say future because it feels like there's there's robotics, uh, machines being loaded. There's all these new gadgets. Oh, it's wonderful. So much fun to be in this industry because there's so many things happening all the time. This is enormous. That car body right there is just under one ton in weight. And the robot can easily lift it, manipulate it, and put it where it needs to be. In this application, they're using two other robots tied together that are doing nut running to bolt the engine into the compartment of the body of the car. Is this similar to what we would see in a factory? This is a little bit more enhanced to make it visible at a show, but yes, in reality, this is the kind of thing that occurs every day in a factory. It's a con combination of talent and education and skills that bring all these things together. So Fan Fanuc is, is, is much bigger, though, than just robots. I mean, we're, we're seeing robots all over the place here, but the, the company's a very diverse company. In reality, the largest part of Fanuc is actually the CNC machine tool controls. That's where the company got its start. That's where the base core of the business is. The robot is a logical extension of that. It takes the CNC control and applies it into a six axis or a five, six axis world where you've got coordinated motion. Automotive, unfortunately, over the years has gotten a, a bad rap. People look at it as dirty work and nobody wants to be involved in it. That's not what automotive is anymore. It's a, it's a brave new world in a lot of ways and it's stepping out. That robots do 3D work, dirty, demanding, dangerous. That allows people to do creative work and lets them expand their horizons to come up with new ideas. And they can do it safely. Let the robot take the harassment. Robotics are becoming collaborative. You can actually start to move robots around. You're able to pick and place. You can control this thing. You tell it what to do. The ultimate, I think the ultimate now is that you're going to actually have a personal, excuse me, a personal robot that is going to allow you to get your work done without you ha without you having to do the work. This thing's getting. Would you do you mind? Personal spaces, zones. So these things will actually. Hi. So Max, if if we're going to have a long-term relationship here, you have to learn about personal space. It's important to me. I I, I like at least three inches between me and you. If you're a manufacturing engineer, oftentimes you're not just thinking about how to make the part, you're thinking about how to make lots of parts. There are many aspects of that. How do you use the time efficiently? How do you make the best use of the people who are available? Often the answer to questions like that are robots. A machine tool is programmed to make the part. The controller on a machine tool is sophisticated automation in its own right. But you could add to that a robot that is programmed to load and unload the part, maybe take the finished part and pass it to another machine or to the next step in the process. Manufacturing in the 21st century is going to be about automation, and in particular is going to be about robots. A robot can't replace a person because people see things, they catch things, they make judgments. What a robot does is keep the process moving while people are doing other things, while they're in meetings, while people are solving problems, even while they're home sleeping. 
Some have wondered whether manufacturing will leave the United States and go to countries where wages are lower. It turns out that automation, robots, are a big part of the response to that concern because ultimately, oftentimes, people and automation working together are the most cost-effective way to produce.